Hi folks, welcome to my session on database administrator. In this video, I'm going to discuss about what exactly a database administrator do and what are his responsibilities. It comes a major role in DBMS, database management system. So I'll read one by one. One of the main reasons for using DBMS is to have central control of both the data and the programs that access those data. A person who has send such con uh, central control over the system is called database administrator DBA. So every organization and company have a, its own database. So one person is there for the access and giving who is uh, making rules for this database. That person is called database administrator. He has a central access to this particular database. And the functions of a database administrator include schema defini uh, definition the database administrator creates the original database schema by executing a set of data definition statements in ddl and the storage structure and access method definition schema and physical organizational modification the database administrator carries out schema carries out changes to the schema and physical organization to reflect the changing needs of organization according to the if the organization is growing or data types are getting different. So making all these changes, it was done by the database administrator. It has to, he has to align the database according to the organizational needs time to time to improve the performance. That is an important thing. So let's go to the next page. Uh, one second. Yep. So granting of authorization for data access by other uh, responsibilities is by granting different types of authorization the database administrator can regulate which parts of the database various users can access. So other responsibility to granting access. So he can if an organization 10 or 100 people are there the needs of the data for the 100 people are different for some finance people need some sort of information design people need some sort of information management needs some sort of information there is no need to give entire access to everybody so he will control which type of access given to which person that is also the role of database administration and routine maintenance anyway you are managing the data then you have to do the maintenance also so examples of database administrators routine maintenance activities are periodically backing up the database so there will be so much of data. If it is losses, it will be a very difficult problem for the company. So you have to take a scheduled backup for every time. It has to be in tape, remote server and prevent loss of data in case of disasters such as flooding, natural disasters maybe happen. Ensuring that enough free disk space is available for normal operations. He has to always ensure that some free disk space is always available. Otherwise, it is a chance of corrupting. It will be happen and upgrading disk space as required. Whenever a requirement is come, he has to upgrade it also. And monitoring jobs running on the database and ensuring that performance is not degraded by very expensive tasks submitted by some users. Some users' uh, tasks are very different. It won't affect the performance of the database. So in this session, I explain you about the roles and responsibilities of a database administrator. I hope you understand the basics. Uh, and if you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.